Namaste. Namaste. Welcome to day 17. Today we'd like to dedicate our session together to love and in fact to supreme love or divine love. As we've heard in the early sessions, prema means love and we've chanted aham prema which means I am love and this time we are chanting Om Parama Prema Rupaya Namaha. So Parama means supreme or divine. Parama Prema, the supreme or divine love. Rupa means the form. And Namaha, as we know, means salutations. So the translation for this mantra is salutations to divine love in a form that I can recognize. This means that it's not an abstraction, it's something physical. It's where love is made manifest through something, a friend, a lover, a child, a parent, a tree even, or, or any living thing. And uh, if we project ourselves and our awareness into space and look back at planet Earth, our home, we can actually imagine from a distance, seeing the love that is emanating from the planet. This is our way to experience love in divine form. So looking at the planet, the blue ball floating in space, and as we contemplate that blue ball, our intention is to be aware of the love that emanates from the earth through Mother Nature and all things natural. Slowly we approach the planet through space, through the atmosphere, through the clouds, noting as we gently float down to Earth that we can love the shape of the clouds as we move into the atmosphere. Is it raining? It's an opportunity to love the rain. Do we see snow? Do we see sunshine? Do we see desert? Everything has the potential to receive our love. And by us giving and being aware of our love being projected onto living things, we also receive the reflection of love, our own love, our own essential being. It's very easy to focus our intention on one particular person or thing. For instance, you may have a pet or you may have somebody who you feel close to. Chant the mantra with that person in mind or that being in mind. Focus on a real person or a real object that has your affection, that you feel you can offer your love to. This is the meaning, the purpose of this mantra. Once you recognize divine love in the form to which you are chanting, of course, you realize that this divine love is your own. And it's not something outside of us, it's already inside us. The mantra helps us to understand that this divine love in a form is actually ourselves. And another way to approach this mantra is to imagine one face after the other in front of our inner eye faces from different nationalities, different ages, different walks of life, all kinds of faces, every one of them radiating divine love. Use the musical interlude at the beginning of this mantra as a key that unlocks the door to your true divinity and let it inspire you to focus your intention and to clear the way for you to come into contact with that being that you intend to send this mantra towards. Om Parama Prema Rupaya Namaha
Let's still remain with our eyes closed and as unmoving as possible, as still as possible. Because in that stillness, the mind also remains still. And give thanks to the being that you've been so fortunate to have in your life. Someone who reflects divine love in a form that you can recognize. What a gift. Another reason to be grateful. <laughs> Carrying this love with you into the day. Have a blessed time. Namaste. Namaste.